Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to draw a cat sitting down step by step. So first I'm going to draw an oval for the cat's head. I will have to leave some room for the ears as well. The oval is going to be tilted sideways just a little bit because the cat is cocking his head sideways. So I'm very lightly going to draw an oval just cocked a little sideways. And then once I'm done drawing that oval, I can draw a circle for the front body and also the chest. And once I'm done drawing that circle, I can draw one last circle. That's going to be for the bottom of the cat and the lower body. Next, I'm going to connect all these of small little lines. I'm going to fix it up later. And I'm going to have to make sure that all these lines are in the right shape. So, I'm going to take my eraser to add finer lines because now I'm going to draw the chest or outline the chest. And I'm also going to outline the lower body and stomach. So I'm going to out I'm also going to outline the back and that hump that the cat has. So the hump is going to be ovalish. It's going to be rounder. And then it's going to come in and then come back out again. The chest will have to be moved inward. So I'm going to draw lines for a base on where this, how the chest should be moved. And then, once I draw these lines, I can erase this. And instead, add a really small curve. And make sure the curve's not very round. And then I will smooth it out. This line is for a base. I'm also going to draw a straight line. And then I'm going to draw an oval. And then, after I draw the oval, I'm going to draw a triangle shaped line. And then another triangle shaped line. And then and just another, sh and then just one straight line. Another line, but it should be straight. And then I'm going to draw another oval. Like that. I'm going to add the back leg, which is going to be folded like how a dog or a cat would sit down, or actually any animal has its leg fold, legs folded when it sits down. So I'm going to just retrace that oval only half of it though 
and then I'm gonna add another line. Next, I'm gonna erase all these lines I drew, except the actual lines that will be used for the whole entire time for this cat. Just only the guidelines. Like this. And then once I'm done erasing the guidelines, there's a few more things I need to add. I need to add a tail, which means I need an oval drawn right here. And then from there I'm going to add a small curve up and add a point there. And then it curves around and back in. Just like this. I'm going to trace the other side as well. Curves around, back, and then back in. And that oval was only used for a base or a guideline, which means that I will also need to erase it. Just going to make some touch ups to my tail. And then I can erase all of the guidelines and touch this up and then I can add the feet because we are missing the feet so for the feet I'm going to add a curve and then it's going to come back in go out and then I'm going to add another toe and then one last toe same thing for the other one except I'm going to skip the toes because it's an off in the distance I'm going to not draw the back otherwise I'll be overlapping and I do not want I draw my lines to overlap. And then I'm going to draw the last foot. So I'm going to have a curve that comes out. The curves out again for one toe. And then a curve out one last time for another toe. I'm going to erase this to make it have finer lines. I'm going to redraw that, making sure I have that curve. Then I'm going to add that one toe. Then I'm going to add the other toe. And then it's going to come back in. Like this. I can lower this too. I'm going to just lower just slightly and then I can make this come out just a bit more and I can make this be bigger like this since there's going to be a small blanket here I don't really need to worry about the the bottom of the foot. I'm just drawing it for an example. So if you don't want to draw the blanket, so just move the tail a bit. You can do that too. And it comes out like this. Should look like this. And then, just going to add a few touch-ups, details, things that I need. And I'm going to add a nice curve for the back. Come back in. Then I'm going to redraw the head, just making sure that my oval head stays in its shape. Like that. 
So now I can draw the head. So the drawing the head is very tricky. But there's a good way to do it. So I'm going to take a roller and make sure that it's all lined up. I'm going to lightly draw a line. Comes down like this. And then I'm going to have to mark halfway. You can use a ruler too, if necessary. And then, once you can mark halfway, that. I'm going to use these measurements to make sure that my cat turns out how it's supposed to. I'm going to measure how big it is and where the middle should be and then where halfway should or a third should be and then I'm going to mark those two making sure that it's all straight and then I'm going to make sure that I will line it up correctly and then I should be done with markings I'm going to add the nose just right here it's going to be a really small nose going to make sure it's small because I do not want to have the nose too big and to have a disaster. So we're going to add a downward curve. Comes out like this. And then it comes back in. And here you would have a small triangle. Once we have finished, we'll draw a small triangle and make sure that the triangle is soft, not sharp. And then, all I need to do now is add the eyes and the other facial features. I'm going to add a few touch-ups to this nose. And then, once I have finished adding touch-ups to this nose, I will add the eyes. I'm going to add two straight lines. So I'm going to add two eyes. Just very carefully. This head is going to be higher. So I'm going to add two lines to when I need to make it higher. So I'm going to add a curve. Then it's going to curve out and come back in. And then, I'm going to add the pupil inside, and the other highlights, and very lightly shade it. I'm going to make sure that this head is higher, like this, and then erase this. So, 
Now I can add the other one, the other eye. And I'm going to make sure that it's almost exactly the same as the first one. Just a little smaller and shorter. So I'm going to add a few touch-ups to make sure it looks just like the other eye. And then... I'm going to add the pupil inside once I've finished adding touch-ups. I'm going to add a small pupil. And then I'm going to add a highlight. And then I'm going to erase all this. Okay, and uh, because I'm going to redraw it to add finer details. So I'm first going to re or or I can trace the nose because I'm gonna I erase it lightly so then I can still see my lines. And then I'm going to add the other eye. It's gonna come down. And I'm gonna add the last eye. And I'm gonna add the pupil. Like that. The nose can be longer if you want. You can choose where your nose should go, except above the eyes. If you want your nose to go right in the middle of the eyes, then that's fine. Just don't make the nose too big, otherwise it will be overlapping with the eyes. So I'm going to add my nose just a bit lower. You can add yours a bit higher or just to keep it like how it was. And I'm going to make sure that's low enough. And, and then... I am going to... Add... The... Mouth. So I'm going to add the smile that the cat has. Or what I think is a smile. It could be a frown. You never know. And then once I add that nice smile. Or frown of his. I'm just going to stop right here. I want to add markings to make sure that it's almost identical. It may look strange, yes. That's why I will erase it and redraw the same thing because it needs finer details. So I'm redrawing what I already drew. Like this. And then I'm going to make this just a bit more curved. Then it seems to be coming back in. So I could also just draw two circles, just follow that, and it comes back in. Then I'm going to add the lower part of the mouth. Which means I could also add a circle and then just add the bottom and erase the top. Like this. And then from there, add the ear here, comes back down. Then I'm going to add the other ear, just the same place, maybe just a bit lower. 
So I'm gonna erase those two ears to make and then add finer details. So I'm gonna add a point, then it comes back in. Just add make it come in, out and then go down. And do the same thing for the other one. And then come in, come out, and like that. I'm going to make this just a little bigger. But not much. Just to frame the outer picture of this cat. And then I can just add the inside of this cat. Uh, on the inside of the ears, I mean. And then, at the whiskers. And then, I will take a B and add details to the eyes. Adding details to the eyes can be difficult. But it's not so difficult once you know how. So first you have to fill in the eye, just leaving the highlight white. And then you have to trace just that small part of the eye. Make sh and then for the parts that you try that you kind of drew out, you can fill those in right here and then you can shade the side of the eye and the other side like that you can make it more straight if you want make it come out then I'm going to take my wrench and lightly raise it and then redraw it one more time. And then I'm all done with that eye. And the second eye is almost exactly the same thing. I'm going to trace it first and then color in the shapes. And then fill in the pupil. Just leaving out or leaving the highlight white. And finally I can add the small dark sides on the eye. Just like this. I'm just gonna lightly shade it. And then I can add the nose or trace the nose. So to trace the nose, it's quite easy. Just trace it and then I'll show you how to add shadings. Once you've traced it, then add small shadings on the curves. And you can erase it again and add finer details. So I'm gonna erase it again to add finer details. I'm going to just lightly shade it. And then I'm going to add the side parts. Now I'm going to add the mouth. The mouth isn't too tricky. I can just add the sides and lightly trace it all the way around making sure you capture the smile like this just like that and then this is going to be just a little bit shorter to make the ears come in 
It may look empty without the fur, but once I add the fur, then it'll look much better. I'm just going to erase this part that comes out and make it go straight out instead. And then I can start tracing the ears. So by to trace the ears, it's not very hard. Just start tracing them. And then you can add the inside. And now I'm going to show you how to shade the ears. I'm going to add the fur on the outside. And I can add the fur on the inside. I'm going to make it look like fur. And then I'm going to take a small blender and blend it all out. I'm going to erase it it's very lightly and then I'm going to add fur on this side like this once I've done that and I can just make sure that this part is shaded in all the way because that's the inside of the ear right here And then I'll be done with that ear. And for the other ear, it's uh, exactly the same. To trace it, add the inside, and then add the fur, add all those. Oh hairs in the inside make it look like hair and I'm going to shade this and I can shade the side now I'm going to grab my blender blend all this and then I'm going to add fur on the top side of the ear make sure this is dark enough And then I will be done on that. Now I can add the fur on the side. Very quickly. Like that. I can make this more round if I want. So I can make these ears come out just a bit more. And then you can have it come out like that and be just a bit more round. Then I can erase this, make it come out like this. Now I will add the whiskers. Add all those whiskers. Quick strokes, making them look like whiskers. And then, I'm going to add the whiskers on the top too. Very quick strokes. On each of the eyes. And then, Gonna add just a few touch ups, make this just a bit shorter. Add the fur on here. And then, before anything else, I'm going to make sure I add fur everywhere on here. Just very carefully, making it more furry. this this can be higher can make it just a bit higher 
make the hair shorter. That. Now, I will be able to just add this slightly tilted and just add fur here and here here on the chest then I will be able to do the fur I will take a 3B and to start doing the fur I'm going to start down here adding the marks like this making sure it looks good and then I'm going to add before I do anything else I want to make this lower just make this point curve down lower and then I can continue adding the fur so some fur is going to come down from there to make sure it matches very well. Then it comes down. Like that. And there's some fur that comes from here. Like this. And then I can add the marks here. Just like this. Then add the marks here. Same thing. And then I can add the marks here. Just exactly the same thing. Then I can add a mark here. And then I can just add small marks here too. And I'll see if I can do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to add these marks. And then another one. And I'm going to add just one last mark here. Making it look more like a tabby. Add the marks here. Like that. Mm, and then I'm going to just add small marks here. Here. Then I can make sure I have for here. And then I can take my 4H and add smaller fur and lighter fur. Make sure I have some fur here and here. The fur here too. Just add light fur all over this cat. Or the head is basically what I'm working on now. This. Then I'm going to take a 5B and add darker hairs on this cat. Just very careful. A few darker hairs, making sure that that fits with the cat. Oh, I'm going to add some darker hairs here. And then some darker hairs here. Here. And then here I'm going to add a lot of dark hair. Just like this. And then I'm going to use my blender to blend this part. One more time. I'm going to draw that part and then I'm going to add 
some light fur with my 4H. And add some touch ups with my 3B. It's a blender to blend this together. And then I'm going to add some fur on the nose with my 3B. All around the nose. Just very carefully. I'm just going to erase this to so make a white gap. And then I'm going to add some fur here. And all around I'm going to start blending very carefully. Making sure I don't blend too much. Like that. Then I can add some fur up here. Like this. And out here. Like that. And then here. So now I'm going to add just a few more bits of fur. And then I'm going to take my blender and blend around here. And then make this a little furry. Just a little bit. And I'm going to add a bit of fur around here. And below here, I'm going to do a bit of shading. And then I'm going to make it just a bit lighter. Like this. I'm going to make sure that smile stands out. Very well. I'm going to erase this very quickly and add smile. And now I'm just going to go over just a few of the important details with my 5B. And then I will be able to just start on the ears. Or continuing on the ears very quickly. Adding a few more hairs. Like that. I'm going to add a few hairs on here. And then on here I can add a few hairs. And I can just add a few more hairs, just around here, and a bit here. And then I can move on to the next ear. Just add a few more hairs here and here. Like this. Just blend it a bit. And add those fur, and add fur on the ear. I can blend around it here very carefully. Add a bit of fur back here and back here. Just like this. I'm going to just get rid of a bit of fur here to lessen the fur texture. And then can lessen the fur here just a bit too. Here. Just like that. Then I can have the fur here. The fur is not going to have me too hard here. I'm going to add those big stripes. That's how it's going to start out. And then it's going to go behind here. And I can figure it out from there. So now I'm going to take my I'm going to take my 4B and start by adding fur texture there. Just very carefully adding fur texture. I will speed the rest of this up and then you can 
once this is done, you can come back and copy what I have done. And I'm going to continue working on the rest of this cat. So now I will begin pencil shading again. So, I did a few quick touch-ups, and here is the finished picture of this cat. I hope you like it, and I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon. Bye!